Doctors from the Rhode Island Department of Health talked about how the death rate for the coronavirus is 1 to 2 percent, but they also stressed that the risk here in Rhode Island remains low, where several travelers and state workers are adjusting their lives. Do we can to keep COVID-19 out of Rhode Island from community transmission. At the Rhode Island State House, visitors come and go daily. Representative Joseph McNamara has noticed a change in behavior in just the last 48 hours. An evolution of fist pumps, elbow nods, and just a, a total transformation culturally. He and other members of the House Health, Education, and Welfare Committee heard from Department of Health doctors about what is being done to prevent the coronavirus in the Ocean State. Or has it mutated as it's traveled around the world? Where there's been two confirmed cases and ongoing testing daily. You know, we tested, I want to say, about nine people today. Um, so it, it changes every day because we're obviously trying, remember, we're, we're doing case fighting. We're trying to find the cases. State workers traveling from China, Italy, Japan, and South Korea are required to quarantine at home until 14 symptom-free days have passed. Staying at home. <laughs> Nick Audiello and his husband, Eric Rietveld, just returned from their honeymoon in Italy. Their Boston employers are having both of them self-quarantine at their Providence home. We both feel fine, but we also are understanding how this works. Um, we could not show any symptoms for 14 days and go outside and pass it on to people and cause an outbreak and then all of a sudden develop the symptoms uh, and we definitely don't want to be responsible for that. Taking the advice of experts who are working to figure out more about the fast traveling coronavirus. When asked about test kits here in Rhode Island, Dr. McDonald said that the Department of Health has plenty available now and the ability to more order more if they need to. Live from the Tech Center, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.